Day, 31st, 30th of May, 2018. And I just had to show you this before I got going here. Hundreds of roosters might have to be euthanized after Northampton cockfighting bust. They say might have to, but in the article they make it very clear that they will be killed. They are going to have to euthanize them. So, they're going to take these chickens, because that's what they are. They're chickens. They're something that 90 plus percent of you probably consume parts of every single day. Okay? So, here they are making this gigantic deal out of raising roosters. I don't agree with cockfighting, but nonetheless, they will more than likely ruin the lives of these people who also run a greenhouse. It's their livelihood. And they'll probably destroy their lives, right? And they more than likely obtained the information about this through illegal means or very covert means, you know, no privacy whatsoever. I'm sure there were probably internet monitoring and, you know, uh, what do they call that? Stingray operations. You know, you have no privacy whatsoever. And they just do it in secret and don't tell you. And so they can, you know, ruin your lives, man. These people probably have a few dollars in the bank. 58 acre farm. Northampton's pretty wealthy area. You know, they'll probably make, you know, a couple million dollars off of these people. You know, after they wreck their lives. But the only reason that I really brought this up is because at the very same time on the same day, we are being told that bare knuckle fighting is become legal again in the United States. For the first time in, wouldn't you know, 130 years. Yeah, so these men, you know, it's perfectly, you know, logical and normal for these men to get into a ring bare knuckle. And potentially, just like the chickens, you know, same same difference. No difference. Very high potential of someone actually dying in these fights, okay? And so, you cannot tell me that you're living in a world that's, that's in any way, shape, or form normal. Or the way that it's meant to be. It's because it's not. It's because it's a lie, okay? I... Just, you know, how do you phrase this stuff without offending someone? You know what I mean? You need to be converted. When you see this stuff, this madness, I mean, you should hear what this guy has to say. I'll link this. But he actually speaks quite intelligently. You know, fighting is just a natural way to settle differences. But they're doing it for what? Money. Filthy lucre. That's what they're doing it for. Same as these people. So it's okay to pummel each other to a bloody pulp. But God forbid that you have chickens fighting. You see where I'm coming from? This is why Jesus had to come. Because this world is consuming itself. And it's only a matter of time to where this comes busting forth. And it's all over. So you need to know Jesus. You need to be converted. You see these crazy things. You know you don't belong in this world. And you know you're not gonna, you're not gonna change the course of it because it's written. This is, this is how it's supposed to be. You need to come to grips with that and realize that the spiritual war inside you is just nudging you to pay attention to the things that people like myself and maybe others that you might have heard are listening, you know, you, you've got to realize the war that you're engaged in and seek the truth. And Jesus is the truth. And it'll set you free. Okay? Best way I know how to put it. I had to show you this, guys. I had to. I mean, think about this. I'm, I'm just saying. Is this guy punching brick walls? He's going to get in a ring and try to kill another man, more or less. But the chicken's doing it? Oh my goodness, you'd have picket lines and PETA 
people sending bombs to your house and stuff. I mean, think about this. Let's let's cure the violence and hatred with violence and hatred. A serpent eating its tail. Cannibals. A house divided can't stand. Have a great day, y'all. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 